Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I'm coming up on almost one year since I started doing YouTube videos. And um, in my former life, I used to be a process designer. So I know from, you know, just from more practice, more experience that you have new ways of doing things. So I wanted to go back to one of my original off the mat characters and show you where things that I didn't know before that may have changed the process. I know two things off the bat that we didn't need to do. So what I did was this was, I pieced this back together. This girl on the left is how I cut and sliced Princess Jasmine a year ago, right? And we're going to redo it today. Now, one of the things that you may notice is we sliced off the, um, the sleeve from the blue. And I remember thinking why I did it because it was too long. Um, cause we did this at 30 inches. So the blue piece was too long. I sliced it where I thought it would be, uh, least conspicuous, right? And when I made this, she was beautiful. You couldn't, the blue glitter cardstock from Cricut, it was the light blue one from one of the packages. I'll have to include it in my YouTube notes, but um, you couldn't see this at all. And then if you see in her face, I continued the slice up here. So I made her neck a separate piece. And again, no one noticed. I made it a deliberate cut so that um, I didn't try to make it look like it should be together. I just said, hey, it's supposed to be in pieces, like her arm is in a separate piece, um, as well as her chest area. So I made the neck a separate piece and the uh, from the face. Um, I want to say both are unnecessary. <laughs> so she really could have been practically seamless, right? Um, but she had those two seams. I mean, you couldn't tell, but... I want to show you how I would do it today and we'll compare it side by side. So we know that those were the two big things. I did use black glitter cardstock for the hair. Again, you couldn't see the seams. I mean, her hair is such a big part of her and it's black. So I did make the whole um, outline, the whole background, black glitter cardstock. And I just thought it was really, really beautiful. So, okay, let's get started. So she is already 30 inches. How you would do that is you would upload the file, change the height to 30. You only need to change one of the measurements because it's locked, which means if we change this to 40, it will change the width appropriately. So I'll change this back to 30. All right, so here she is. Let's ungroup her. Um, so, you know, again, these things you're gonna need to take over. Um, these are all the colored pieces. Um, they're attached, but so what we need to do is we need to slice it out. So let's take the square and we will slice out the headband. So just grab from here on up, make sure you're only grabbing two items. So it's everything that's in blue and the square. And you can see it, it looks like it's touching her, but my cursor only grab those two items, which is why I'm still able to slice. So watch, I'm in a lot of traffic, right? But again, I'm only grabbing the two items and it's letting me um, slice it out. So just make sure when you're doing that, I, I see a lot of questions where it's like, I can't slice it. It's because you have more than two items. So here's this piece, there's that piece. Now let's look at this. So originally this thing is 7.7 .7 by 12.8. And so in my mind, I can't cut it because my cardstock is 12 by 12 glitter cardstock. I know it can only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but this is what I've learned. This measurement gives you the, the width is from the far left most item, which is this point right here to the far right over here. So from the two far pieces, that distance is 12.8. So if I go and I just turn this, it's now 11 by 9.9. .9. I did not have to slice it at all. It makes me so sad to think that I had to do that. I had no idea that's how it worked. So just know that's how the measurements are done. So you can always kind of like tilt it to see if it makes it any better. Okay, so we didn't need to slice that, right? Let's look at this. Um, these are all her gold pieces. So this one I would, you know, slice out because I don't want to use, waste all that empty space. So let's grab this over here and okay. Let's start slicing things out, okay? So here we go, slice, 
I'm gonna turn this around, slice that earring out. Oops, hold on. I couldn't do it this way because I have that other earring up here, right? So it's not gonna let me slice. See how it's grayed out? But I can keep everything there, but go from the bottom up. The bottom, I'm gonna grab my square and my gold, and there, now I can slice it. So just kind of get a, you know, you just need an understanding of how things work, right? Then we can, we can put that to use. All right, and see, I haven't moved anything. I have something at the top, something at the bottom. I'm slicing out in the middle, and my cursor is only grabbing the gold and the square, nothing else. So it lets me slice. So you can slice. I call it slicing and traffic, right? I mean, look at all that stuff that was here. It's totally okay. Um, just know that your cursor could only pick up two pieces for you to slice it out. All right, so here we go. Um, I know we're just like moving along. I'm gonna have to compare the times to like how long it took me to do that original video. Okay, here's her lips. Um, all right, her eyes. Same thing. I should just keep that big old square over there. Okay, let's slice out the eyes because again, I don't wanna waste my cardstock. This is gonna take up, you know, like five inches when the pieces are tiny, right? So. See how I'm grabbing it? I'm gonna slice it. So now the eyes are separated. Just get rid of your slice results. You definitely don't need that. Let's look at the gray. Same thing with the gray. Now, I think I changed this to white. I, I, I'll have to look at pictures, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I keep the eyes together, so I won't slice out the dot, but I'll just do this. All right, so there's one piece, there's the other one. All right, and okay, so we're moving along, the eyes are done. Let's see, what is left? Okay, her, so I, okay, her skin, right? So let's um, slice out those pieces. So I'm just gonna move that there. Slice this out. We're like zooming along. I'm, I can't wait to compare the two videos. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, why did I tell you to do that? Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We have the arm. So let's um, do this. Right? When you're slicing, you want to make sure that the piece you want separated is completely covered in the square and nothing else is. Okay? So let's do this. And you can see this piece was hanging out, but my cursor didn't pick that up. So, all right, we've got that. Okay, so we have this. Now this, what I would do is, um, I would separate this into, th this is two pieces, right? So I'm gonna use contour because I think it's really hard to get a piece that's in there to slice it out. So let's duplicate it. Anytime that you contour, if you want it separated into two pieces, then you need two copies. If you want, if there were three pieces, you need three copies. Okay. All right. So here's the first one. Let's go to contour and let's separate this um, from that. So let's hide all. So it left us her little area right here, 11 by 8.6. Perfect. All right. So then let's go to this one, contour, and let's hide this piece. And that leaves her face. And her face is 7.5 by 12.4. So that is why I decided to slice it right here and no one would notice because it was so tiny. It just seemed like the neck should be a different piece. But now that we know the trick, we're just gonna turn it nine by 10. We're good. Oh my gosh, it makes me so sad. <laughs> okay, but the other thing that I wanna show you is, you see that the mouth and the eyes let's look up here there were some creases some seams cutting through through the black right and yes her eyes may have covered some of the seams but may not have covered at all so what i want to show you is but you see how the eyes aren't closed um they're not an enclosed surface right so when we go to contour for the face see how we can't um black out the eyes but the mouth is because the mouth is completely enclosed right so what i want to do is i'm going to show you i'm going to weld some pieces here so that we can close off the eyes okay so let's weld um this little guy let's make it super small because i just want to get it right there to close up that little gap okay all 
And I want to move it to make it look a little bit better. And it's okay that it's like that. Okay, and then I'm going to, let's duplicate the circle and let's try to close out this side, okay? Um, and actually this side might be easier with the square because it looks more straight. So let's get our square in. And it might be easier to make it a little bit smaller. All right, and let's turn this. And I'm gonna zoom in so I can just see what I'm doing. All right, so. Um, let me turn this a little bit more. There, okay. So that closes it. I'm gonna move this out because now I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and weld it, okay? Oh, hold on. I should make a copy first because we need a regular copy, sorry, duplicate. Okay, so that's our copy. Now let's weld this piece and I will tell you why we're welding, okay? So we're gonna weld it, then we're gonna click on it and do contour and we're gonna hide all contours, okay? We're gonna turn this into black. So let's change this color to black and send it to the back because what we're gonna do is this is gonna cut in black. We're gonna lay this on top. So any seams that would have gone through the eyes, the mouth, or here, the black is gonna cover the seams. And then, you know, your lips are gonna go on top, but any seams that would have been there is now non-existent. So we've eliminated so many of the seams by doing that. And all our colored pieces don't have seams. So everything's going to look seamless. Your black glitter uh, cardstock in the back, um, here, let me zoom back out. Okay. So our black here, this is gonna have seams, but it'll be minimal. It'll be minimal with our black glitter cardstock. You won't really notice it, but everything else about her is gonna be gorgeous and seamless, and it's gonna be just amazing. <laughs> okay, so now we have her face, and we have to tilt her face because as is, it's gonna make us, um, it's gonna want a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. Okay, so now we're good with that. All right, so all we have left is the black background, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly. So here we go. We have a 16 by 30 piece. So I'm gonna use 11 by 11 black glitter cards or 12 by 12 black glitter cardstock, but I'm gonna cut it as 11 by 11. So let's go and take our shape square. All right, let's go over here and make it 11. Now, technically you cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing with half inches. And most of the time it doesn't matter because this is 16 inches, right? It's going to need two columns. It, so 11 plus 11 is 22. 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 23. It didn't matter. It needed two columns anyway. So that's why I like using 11, um, uh, 11 inches. So, okay, we'll put down our first one, okay? We'll go over here to the position feature and we're just gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 14.78 becomes 15, 34.1 becomes 34. So basically we're saying go over 15 units and go, oh, 15, <laughs> go down 34 units and that's the tip of your square. So we can do the math. So if this is out of 15 plus 11, that should be 26, right? So let's duplicate our square. Our square needs to be at 26 and 34. So see, but you don't need to do the math. If you put it close enough, you just round to the nearest whole number. So 26 point something becomes 26, 34 something becomes 34. So now we have two flushed squares. We're gonna grab both squares. So this one's currently highlighted or grabbed. So hit the shift key and grab this one and we're going to duplicate it so we don't need to make these two flushed with each other we just need to put it close to the top and then again go over here and round to the nearest full number so 14.7 becomes 15 45.22 becomes 45 and now they're flushed let's duplicate that and this is our last one and this becomes 15 and 56 and i think we're good okay 
So now we're gonna go and get our black image. Here she is. And arrange, send to the front so that we could see. Now the other thing when I cut this is you notice how they have all these little slits. I found that it was actually more distracting to have them. So this time around, I'm actually gonna just hit hide all. It's gonna be one solid black piece. Okay, so there she is. Make sure that when you're slicing this, what you don't want, I mean, this is gonna be, this is fine the way it is, but what you don't want is, um, there's like no good way to show you this one today, but let's say this was bigger and it had more over here. This is something that you don't want where it slices off and it leaves you a small little piece that you need to keep track of and then tape and it just, it makes it really difficult to deal with. You want big pieces that you're gonna just slide up against each other, tape and try to make as seamless as possible. So we're gonna put her back. Um, she looks good as is, right? Let's see, um, you know her hair, actually, I'm gonna slice her over here because let's look at her hair. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because you're gonna have that seam here and you're gonna have that there. So I'm gonna slice it as is, okay? So let's start slicing. Grab the square and one and the image. And we're gonna slice here. We're slicing one square at a time. We're taking a 30 inch piece and cutting it into six pieces that the Cricut can actually slice or can cut for you um, with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And then once we've done cutting, then we'll take it and we'll piece it back all together. We'll tape it up, layer it, and it's just gonna look amazing. All right, so I think she's done. So for so she used to be 30 inches right now. This piece is 5.6 by 9.4, so it can cut on the machine. And you can see I'm kind of keeping it in order because um, it's just easier that way to piece it later. I don't have to think about it. When I see a piece that looks like this, I know which way it is and not flipped upside down or whatever. Okay, all of this stuff, grab it and you can delete it. We don't need any of those sliced results. All right, we're done. So we didn't have to slice the arm. We didn't have to slice out the neck. Everything else looks good. The seams through the eyes will now no longer be there because this will be covered. You won't be able to see it at all. So our seams are really, really um, minimal. All right, I hope that was helpful. I'm definitely gonna compare the time. It probably took me way more time to do it the first time around. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please post them. And if you have a special request, I am I would be glad gladly here to help you do a tutorial for your piece and then walk you through it so that you can learn. All right, bye guys.